you're here. You wanna work out with me? Let's do this. We gotta fry some of that pie from Thanksgiving, right? So we're gonna keep it short, we're gonna keep it simple, but very effective, okay? So just join in along with me. This is a fast workout. We're gonna do a warm up. We're gonna end with some Zen monkey time. You're gonna love it, okay? So get up, jump in with me, and here we go. We're gonna start with our warm up. All we're gonna do is just simple touch down squats. We're just getting our hips ready. Inhale down, exhale up. So we start that breathing. <sighs> really intentional with the breath. Feel the hips moving. Let's do two more. Last one. And then from here, we're just gonna hinge forward at the hips, arms are out to the side. And we're just gonna rotate through the mid back. Open up that mid back. We're gonna be working a lot of large muscle groups today. So this is a really great way to get the metabolism really humming because you're gonna be moving more muscles. Just what we need after a big holiday, right? Good job. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is some leg swings. So you're just gonna stand on one foot and just simply swing the leg. Again, we're just working on opening up that hip. If you need to hold on to something to help you balance, that's cool. Another side. Good job. Okay, we're gonna take it down to the mat and get that core activated. So let's start with the down dog. So we just simply take the hips back a bit and we'll just shift our weight from heel to heel. Get the body moving, feel that nice stretch on the back of the body. And then from here, we're gonna to touch our right foot to our left hand and come forward to a plank. Opposite side come forward to a plank. Just keep alternating sides. Feel that core kicking in. Keep the neck straight. Just a couple more here. One more on each side. Good job. And then we're gonna go ahead, push back into that down dog again, step that left foot forward. We're in a nice long low lunge. We're gonna plant our right hand on the ground, open up to the left. Looking up at the sky if you can, or the ceiling. Nice. Plant that hand, let's step it back to a down dog. And the right foot comes forward. So same thing, we'll plant our left hand this time, rotate to the right. Right hand goes up. Nice rotation. And planting that hand, let's step it back to a down dog. And then we're just gonna walk our feet into our hands, roll it on up. And then let's just get the heart rate up a little bit. So all we're gonna do is some half jacks. Arms just come halfway up, bouncing nice and lightly through the balls of the feet. Just keep it light. Breathing. Good job. And finally, let's just add in some butt kicks. So we're literally just trying to kick ourselves in the bootay. We all need that now and again, right? A little kick in the butteroo. Feel those quads, get a nice stretch the fronts of your thighs. Five more seconds. Nice, okay. This is gonna be fun, my friend. Get your fighting game on, right? Get your mean streak out. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little shuffle, high kick, punch, punch, shuffle back, okay? Just jump in with me, you're gonna love it, this is fun. Bring out your inner badass here, here we go. And shuffle, kick, punch, punch, shuffle it back. Come on, high kick, nice. When you do that kick, try to imagine using your butt muscle to get your leg up. job. Fight off that pie. <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as I am because I just dig this. My dog's staring at me like I'm a complete nut job. One more and then we'll switch sides. <sighs> Good job. <gasps> just kidding. Ready? Go. Kick. 
punch, punch. Take it back. Kick. Punch, punch. Take it back. Kick. Good. Coming for you. Nice job. We got one more, guys. Yeah. Nice work. Okay. Next, we're gonna go skiing. So, grab those ski poles, tuck them under your arms. Nice position, as if you were gonna slalom down the mountain. And if you don't ski, just pretend, okay? All right, so here we go. We're in our ski position. And we're just gonna do little hops, little hops. So stay in that forward ski position. Little hops. Good. So this is a really good low impact quad burner, the fronts of those thighs. Feel that? Let's add in a little snow pole action. Lift those snow poles and dip them into the ground. Okay. Swing. Swing. We can swoosh if you want. Swoosh. Almost there. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do some booty blasters. I love these ones. So, we're down on the ground. Fingers are towards your body. Feet are squared off. We're gonna put one leg out and we're just simply gonna lift, tap, and lift back up. So don't let the booty rest, just a little tap. Drive to the heel of the foot that's down. You're gonna feel this in your butt, your hamstrings, maybe your lower back a bit. Oh yeah. Two more. Last one. Good job. And you also might notice you need a little tricep burn too. Switching sides and lift. Lift, tap. Good job. Make sure the core stays nice and tight. Make sure you're breathing and make sure you're not scrunching up. Right, we want to keep our neck nice and long. Keep it up, almost there. Two more. Good job. Okay, round one. We got two more to go. So we're gonna take it from Z top back to fighting. Okay, here we go. I know you're digging this. Shuffle, kick, and back. Shuffle, kick. Good job, come on. Do this with me. Get that foot up. Good job. Try not to flick your knee real hard when you do the kick, right? We don't want to hurt ourselves. Almost there. Good. Give me one more. Okay. Other side. Here we go. Shuffle. Kick. Hit, hit. going my friend remember when you start to feel uncomfortable that's a good sign that's how we get results right so you just got to talk to yourself get through the discomfort and remind yourself on the other side of discomfort is growth good job okay you ready to ski so grab my ski poles and if you need to stop and breathe, that's fine. And then just jump right back in with me, okay? Send a little swoosh. Swoosh. Good job. Ready to add those ski poles? Swoosh it down the mountain, baby. Feel those quads talking to you. Swinging the arms. We're moving everything in the body right now. Almost there. Good job. Take it down to the mat. Booty blast time. So just make sure, keep that neck nice and elongated, right? And then do this, you're straining your neck. Fingertips are towards you. Square off the feet with the hips. We lift and tap. Come on. 
short, but it's gonna get your metabolism sped up. Two more. Good job. Other side, reset if you need to, and lift. Keep that neck elongated, guys, and breathe. Come on, how you do this workout is how you're going to live your day today. Attack it. One more. Nice. I'm a little sweaty, are you? Let's just take a nice big breath. Because we're gonna kill it, that's last one. One more round and then we'll cool down, okay? Have some Zen monkey time. So, ready? Bring out your inner Bruce Lee. Here we go, set yourself up. Fighting position. Come on, baby, here we go. Shuffling kick. Take it back. Oops, I forgot the punch. Good job. Kick, punch, punch. Did you forget it too? Probably not. Good. Come on, let me see what you got. Yeah. Two more. Nice, last one. Other side, right away. Here we go. Take it back. Take it back. Don't overthink this, guys. Just move, kick, and punch. Okay? And have fun. Feels good to move your body, right? Two more. Now that we fought, we gotta make our getaway. Ski, grab those ski poles. Ready, and go. Nice little hop through the balls of the feet. Try to keep it light. This is great for those of you that have injuries, knee pain, hip pain. Nice low impact way to really target those sides. Swoosh. Oh yeah, I feel the burn. That means I'm getting results. Ski pull time. Hello. Come on back. Almost there. Okay, booty blasters. Come on, this is it. Don't quit on me now. We're almost done. Square off the feet. Lift. Good job. And if you have knee pain, you really want to try to strengthen those glutes. Strong glutes, strong knees. Last one. Okay, other side. Oh, we're almost there. Five more. Three. Last one. <laughs> Bravo for you. Okay, let's just stay sitting down because we're gonna go right into stretching. So, we are going to bring our left leg back just like this. Now, we wanna feel a stretch in the front of that thigh. So, if this is good enough for you, just stay here. If you have the space for it, you can lie back. You wanna lie in the direction of the straight leg. Nice stretch down the front of the quad. Start to take some deep breaths. So we just got all Zen monkey for the workout. Now we want to go into Zen monkey, right? We want to let our stress response shift out of fight or flight and into rest and digest. So that's what we're doing here. Other side. And we're going to do that mostly through our breath. So it's really important that you try to take some nice deep breaths here. If you can, breathing through the belly. But if that's a little bit too much for you to think about right now, just take the deep breaths. Big inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. Just feel yourself relaxing. Nice job. So let's go ahead, come to a seated position. Bring those legs out nice and wide. 
And we're just gonna rotate our body towards our left leg, nice and tall for the torso, big inhale. Exhale, folding over the leg as much as you can. Don't force this. Just doing what you can here. It even feels good to take your opposite arm and reach to the outside of your foot if you, if you can. Feels so good. I can just feel the heat coming off my body. I love it. Good, we're gonna come up nice and tall. Turn our body towards the other leg. Big inhale, exhale. Same thing, just, you wanna feel a stretch, but you shouldn't feel pain. So if it hurts, you're going into the stretch too far. So come out a little bit. Coming up, butterfly stretch is always a good idea. Bottoms of the feet together, nice and tall. And again, maybe, maybe this is enough for you, but if it's not, Big inhale through the torso, lengthening, and then exhale, forward fold. Try to imagine bringing your belly towards the ground versus rolling over with your shoulders and face. You can use those elbows to push your knees out gently. Big breaths here. Feel the heart rate slowing down. Good, coming up to a nice comfortable seated position. Let's just go ahead and take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, lowering chin to chest. Feel that nice stretch down the back of your neck. And then we'll trace our collarbone with our chin over to the left shoulder. And then doing the, doing the same thing all the way over to the right. And back to the center. And lift that head up nice and tall. And then let's go ahead and place one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. Or if you prefer to leave your hands right on your lap, that's fine too. And we'll go ahead and gently close our eyes or just lower our gaze. And let's just get present for a moment here. So let the sounds around you come to you. No matter what they are, just letting yourself be flooded with your hearing. So just not straining to hear, just noticing the sounds. And noticing your breathing. Notice what it feels like to be breathing. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice how the breath is moving the body. And then let's just take a couple of guided breaths. So big inhale through the nose. Hold your breath. And a long exhale out the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose. Holding the breath. Exhaling out the mouth. So great. I am so happy that you joined me because it doesn't it make it so much better to work out with a friend and we can hold each other accountable. So I really appreciate it and I'm so grateful for you as always. And I cannot wait to see you at our next workout. Okay. Mwah. Love ya.